2020, it was reported that basketball superstar Candace Parker was making real estate moves. The five-time WNBA All-Star purchased a $4 million modern farmhouse-style mansion in Tarzana, LA. Prior to this, the baller lived in another slightly smaller abode in the same neighborhood, as well as an Encino property she once shared with her ex-husband. Candace's newly built home looks like the nicest of them all, spanning 6,300 square feet of space, and we'll check out all of the amazing features it packs in, including the pro movie theater and more. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Candace Parker is a professional basketball player for the Chicago Sky of the Women's NBA and chosen as the first overall pick in the 2008 WNBA draft by the LA Sparks. She has plenty of awards and accomplishments under her belt, including more than one MVP award, two Olympic gold medals, the 2008 Rookie of the Year award, and much more. Not to mention, she became an analyst for NBA games on TNT and NBA TV back in 2019. At the time of this recording, Candace has scored herself a net worth of over $5 million, considering her NBA salary, endorsement deals, and more. Hey everyone, I'm Care the Vampire Slayer, bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out the homes of WNBA superstar Candace Parker. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications, because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. After Candace ended her marriage with ex-husband Sheldon Williams, the two listed their Encino home they dropped $3.56 million on in 2013. Despite the fact that it was impressive Mediterranean estate, the couple had quite the difficult time unloading this home. They originally listed it in July of 2017 for $4.49 million. With no takers, they put it back on the market in November for a slightly reduced price of $4.39 million. When all was said and done, they finally sold the home in March 2018 for $3.75 million. Located in the highly coveted Encino area south of Ventura Boulevard, the LA Digs featured a 7,058 square foot home on a 1.3 acre lot and boasted 7 bedrooms and 7.5 bathrooms packed with all the goodies. Originally built in 1964, the estate had been completely remodeled with crown molding, a ton of built-ins, sleek marble floors and a state-of-the-art sound system. Highlights include a step-down living room and formal dining room, both of which offer plush furnishings, crystal chandeliers and stone fireplaces. While the spacious chef's kitchen came with Viking appliances, marble quartz countertops, and a stunning island with ample storage space, ideal for the basketball star to cook up a storm. Additional kitchen features included an attached breakfast nook and a butler's pantry with plenty of space. Next to this, there was yet another family room to kick back and relax. Probably the most coveted room in the house had to be the master suite, which offered a sitting area, sumptuous fireplace, and French doors that led to a private terrace with stunning canyon views. Additionally, the ballers shared a massive walk-in closet that was big enough to pose as an NBA dressing room. Candace's former master bathroom came with its own seating area, a massive marble soaking tub with crystal chandelier hovering above, and a large glass rain shower on black marble. They even outfitted the space with a luxe fur rug, and we can't forget more of those stunning canyon views. That wasn't all for the deluxe features found in both the interior and exterior. In addition, there was a home theater with wet bar where I'm guessing a lot of game footage had been watched, and a huge great room with a view and another fireplace. There were four fireplaces in total. Outside, the property boasted an outdoor barbecue and kitchen alongside the palm-lined pool and spa. Equally impressive was the pool house with sauna, bathroom and wet bar with flat screen TVs perfect for a team party. Guests looking for a little exercise could do so in the professional size sports court, which can be easily lighted at night. Hey, not a bad view either to work on that tennis swing. Well done, Candace. Back in February 2021, Candace parted ways with her first Tarzana home for $2.43 million, but let's take a look. Much like that last spot, again, Candace took a small loss on the sale. She initially listed it for $2.8 million in 2020, considering she paid $2.47 million three and a half years earlier, it wasn't a huge loss for her. 
Located in a short cul-de-sac in the beautiful suburban foothills south of Tarzana, this estate featured 4,525 square feet and boasted four bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms. While the home was built in 1975, the wood, glass and concrete home had been since updated with first class finishes. Upon entry, double front doors opened to a double height dining area with plush furnishings, custom cabinets and sumptuous light fixtures soaring above. The spacious living room sported a pool table, massive marble fireplace, floor to ceiling windows and Fleetwood sliders that boasted stunning views. The open concept kitchen offered enormous white marble counters on sleek custom white cabinets, Sub-Zero and Wolf appliances, and butler's pantry with ample storage. Her open kitchen's biggest flex had to be the glass sliders that opened to the resort-style backyard, giving guests the choice of dining indoors or even on the patio. And I think from all this, we can tell that Candace loves a modern and minimalistic look in her homes. You'll see what I mean with the next one too. Steps away, the home offered a family and great room complete with plush furnishings, concrete fireplace and built-in wet bar perfect for entertaining. The residence hosted a number of guest bedrooms, one of which was a double height suite with sleeping loft and another with a petite private balcony. Candace's former master bedroom was comprised of a wood beamed cathedral ceiling, brick fireplace, sitting area and private balcony with a view. The master bathroom came with his or her sinks, a bulky soaking tub and steam shower ideal for soothing aching post game muscles. This residence included more bonuses throughout, such as a library office decked out with custom hand-carved antique wood, colossal shelves displaying all of Parker's trophies, and an additional fireplace. We're willing to bet that Candace locked in a few endorsement deals in here. Elsewhere, the residence included a spacious home theater packed with red suede recliners, a games room, and a wine cellar. Outside, the grounds encompass multiple dining and lounging areas, a small swimming pool with spa, a grilling area, and a pergola covered area. While the features in the backyard may seem a little small and underwhelming, the glass sliders could easily shift the party inside or out. In December 2020, Candace upgraded to an all new modern farmhouse in Tarzana, which cost her $4 million. Her current home may just be the nicest of them all, built the same year in 2020 and spanning 6,300 square feet on a half acre lot. Her home boasts five bedrooms and seven baths, along with both a substantial motor court for six cars, plus a three car attached garage. You know, in case Candace wants to throw a party. The modern farmhouse getaway comes with an open concept floor plan that includes a living room fully furnished to Candace's liking, built in fireplace and oversized windows giving tons of light. Throughout the home, there's also wide plank hardwood floors and a pretty vibrant color scheme with shades of white, gray and warm acorn. A center hallway on the main floor leads past a black and gold office up to the massive great room. This upscale room has a formal dining area with web bar, family room with yet another fireplace and backlit built-ins, as well as a courtyard you can access through glass doors. Here you'll find the courtyard has its very own outdoor fireplace too. There is even space to accommodate a large event and some chefs to prep the food. There's a casual breakfast bar, sunny breakfast nook and access to the yard via walls of glass. The mansion is complete with five private bedrooms, each with their own ensuite bath. Candace's upstairs master suite is the best of all with massive space, a marble fireplace, a showroom closet that's bigger than a shop, and a spa style bathroom with both a soaking tub and one of the biggest showers I've ever seen, with multiple shower heads no less. Candace kept her movie theater game strong in her new digs, however this one is definitely the showstopper of this house tour. The soundproof movie theater features 10 leather recliners, its very own TV lounge and a games room with a wet bar. Not a bad spot to kick back and relax. Candace can also enjoy the work hard, play hard lifestyle in her lush backyard, complete with saltwater pool and spa with Baja shelf, barbecue area, kitchen and fire pit. Additional features include an adjoining pool house with wet bar and of course her very own half basketball court to work on that jumper. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a look at WNBA superstar Candace Parker's homes in Encino and Tarzana. After checking out the three impressive homes, did you have a favorite? What about the features? I liked her newest house the best, that's a no brainer. 
It's a bit more modern than my taste, but there were so many cool features it's hard not to love. From the backyard to the movie theater, there is really something for everyone here. Not to mention, Candace can feel like a queen in that master suite. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Candace's homes down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!